Have you guys wondered what fast food chains in Japan are like? I don't know about you guys, but I was always curious. In this video, I'll go to fast food franchise restaurants in Japan and show you guys what they have and rank them from the best to worst. I got to try some really interesting things that are only in Japan, so do not miss a second of this video. This is gonna be good. Why don't we start with good old Burger King or Baga King? All right, let's go inside and see what they have. Mexican avocado whopper. That sounds so good. Oh, thank God they have English. So based on the photos, the food looked really promising. But I also felt like the food was very expensive for a franchise burger restaurant. Whoa, it's pretty expensive. What the hell? I'm gonna get that my lovely chocolate pie as well. All right then, let me show you guys what I got. That's the most expensive burger. Cheese Jaland burger. And that's a Mexican avocado burger. Can't forget about some good french fries. And this is the lovely chocolate pie. And this right here is a soda. This is the melon Fanta. I feel bad about saying this, but I like plastic straws. Oh, I'm sorry, sea turtles. At least you guys don't get the dolphin treatment. Wait, what was that image? Couldn't be these lovely Japanese people hunting dolphins. That sounds almost as impossible as Koreans eating dogs. Anyway, back to the melon flavored Fanta. It kind of tastes like melted carbonated popsicle. It tasted very artificial, so I can't really say I loved it. I'm gonna start with the most expensive burger they have. So this chicken beef jalandi burger. This burger alone without the combo was like $12. Now what I've experienced in Japan is that for just around $6, you can get a pretty great meal. So for this burger to be that expensive, it's gonna have to be really, really good. So is it good? Yeah, I can't deny that it's really good. Wow. Okay, I'm gonna tell you guys with absolute honesty. So I feel like the sauce isn't that special, but the chicken patty that's in here, first off, it's large. It's actually bigger than the bun itself. And it's really, really tender. And the surface is super crispy. Extremely juicy. So it turns out Geland in German means land. So this is land burger. The chicken and beef patty were so big that the bun almost felt too small. And you know that's a great feeling. Unbelievable. There's just too much meat. Wow. Very impressed with the first burger, the Galande burger. Um, I still think it's really expensive for just a burger. With that money, you can do so much in Japan, so it doesn't really make sense to me. Oh yeah, let me try the fries too. I thought Japan might have something special like sushi fries or something. But it was exactly like french fries that I've had in other countries. Hola amigos. There's crumbs of, I think those are like nacho crumbs. And some avocados, not a lot. Let me take a bite. The ingredients feel pretty fresh. But to me, this is more or less just a Whopper with salsa. My preference is definitely, definitely leaning towards this Galande burger. In my opinion, it is the better burger out of the two. Oh, by the way, forgive me for butchering the beautiful German language. Okay, let's try this chocolate pie. Okay, one thing's for sure, they're crispy as hell. There's a plenty of chocolate flavor filling inside. But crispy and good, these are two different words. In terms of the chocolate itself though, I don't think the chocolate's great. Yeah, I think apple pie is better. So I've had Burger King in America, Korea, and Japan. And I have to say the Japanese Burger King is by far the best. Keep it up Americans, they're beating you in your own game. So I thought Burger King in Japan, it's pretty good. It certainly didn't blow me away. I feel like it could have some more originality and maybe provide a better value. I thought $25 for what I got was kind of expensive. I'm not sure if it's enough to call it Burger King. More like Burger Night maybe? Nah, actually it's more like Burger Merchant. Now let's try some other places too then. I feel like I wouldn't be doing myself some good American justice unless I go to this amazing place called McDonald's. They're probably responsible for the obesity of millions of people, but we're still loving it. The looks of the store seem quite promising. <laughs> Oh my god, they're so nice. He actually went to ask. <laughs> I 
They got the rice burgers here too. So with the help of the extremely kind employees here, I ordered a bunch of things that I probably never had before. Oh my god. The level of customer service and kindness is like off the chart. If the customer service in Korea is like 10, which is really great, here in Japan it's like 16 or 17. Well, America, they're probably like 0.3. And that's on a good day. All right, everyone, the food is here. Nobody in Japan talks loud, even in McDonald's. The portion of the French fries is the same as America. Uh, it tastes pretty much the same. Now let's move on to the real deals, the burgers. This one right here, it's called Tantan Double Beef. It has a beef patty, an egg, cheese. But I'm a simple guy, I love simplicity. I would say that the burger itself was very good. It had the savory sauce that I really liked, but it didn't have the uniqueness factor that I was looking for. Now why don't we take a look at this burger. You guys might freak out, but there's this burger called Asian Rice Burger. It's literally rice burger, just like the one that I had in Korea. In Japan, they have it in McDonald's. So the rice itself looks seasoned. Uh, it has a chicken patty, fried chicken patty. Let's put it in my mouth and see how it feels. So the, the rice patty here, it has the flavor of, um, do you guys know like Chinese fried rice? The kind of Chinese fried rice that you would have at Panda Express. It has that um, aromatic flavor that's exactly the same as those foods. I honestly really like it. it it's like eating uh, fried rice with fried chicken. Now this is great. It's unique and quite tasty. Like I'd get myself this over Big Mac all the time. Now both of these burgers, I love them both. They're both really well crafted. Like. You know how when you get fast food burgers, the moment you open the wrap, they, they kind of start falling apart? The architecture of these burgers, it's like more carefully made. I'm actually loving it. This is really good. Honestly, one of the most satisfying burgers that I had in a long time. Now, it's really funny. Japanese McDonald's, they have edamame as one of their side menus. Let me get some of that too. Edamame and corn. I'm not mm. sure if these are any special though. It feels a little out of place to me. How could I end the meal without a proper dessert? How would you guys like some of these nut flavored? Is it macaroon or macaron? Hmm. Wow, even this is really good. Really soft. I am no dessert expert, but I feel like this is pretty decent. Alright, didn't expect this from McDonald's, but that was quite good. Okay, enough of American franchises. How about we move on to the franchises that are original to Japan? Like this place, Mo's Burger. These burgers seem pretty unorthodox. I have a feeling that it's either really good or terrible. And there's only one way to find out. I just ordered a bunch of things that look good in photos. All right, what are we waiting for? The food is here. That's the Tobikiri Cheeseburger. I think it's their popular cheeseburger menu. Their lemon chicken teriyaki burger, I believe. What surprised me is that it actually came with a slice of lemon. And the lemon looks really fresh. You can get onion fries, which is like half onion rings and half french fries. I really appreciate that because I, I like them both. And this is going to be my dessert, the smart pie. I mean, I'm a smart guy. I deserve a smart pie. Let's get the party started. Uh, the bun feels blazing hot. It's super soft. The patty feels like the Mac Morning Sausage patty, uh, except it's a lot crispier. What I also like is that they got some onions in there. I also gotta say, I think they might have my favorite buns out of all those places. Super, super buttery on the inside. Now, who doesn't like that, huh? The buns are definitely amazing. That was a really good burger. Now, allow me to move on to this, the lemon chicken burger. I believe the correct thing to do is uh, take this lemon and squeeze all the juice in there. Alright, let's take the first bite. And guess what? It was pretty amazing. This has this ground chicken patty. Despite being affordable, the burger felt really premium. And it's probably by far the favorite burger that I've had in Japan. This lemon teriyaki sauce. How could I just like it? Now let's try this drink. I'm thirsty. It's 
It's kind of like orange flavored milkshake, which I really like. Sometimes when life feels painful, I just get a kind of milkshake like this and I drink it like super fast for that intentional brain freeze. And when my brain freezes, my pain eases. Wait, that sounds like a rap song. I'd say that the fries and the onion rings were pretty good, but I wasn't impressed with them like I was with their burgers. Would you guys fancy some smart pie? Kind of a weird name. You know what it is? It's just a super skinny apple pie. I think it's pretty much the same thing as McDonald's apple pie. It's alright, I guess. Smart pie? No. More like a C plus, B minus pie. So to me personally, I think it's safe to say that most burgers just far better than the other three places. I'm gonna have to try one last place before concluding that most burger is the best. I'm here standing in front of Freshness Burger. Freshness Burger right here. I heard really great things about this place. Uh, judging by their photos, I think they're really going for that more premium burger. Can't wait to find out what it's really like then. I appreciate how they often have English menu in Japan. As usual, I just got a bunch of things that sound good to me on the menu. I got their matcha latte that looks really nice. It kind of looks like a Starbucks product. Surprisingly, it tasted really good too. Kind of like the ones that I would get wow. from coffee shops. And my god, the burgers are here. Are you kidding me? These burgers actually look better in person than in photos. Are you kidding me? And the way they serve in this basket and deliver it to your table, that's just next level. Check out this Japanese wedge potatoes. So these are supposed to be the potatoes from Hokkaido. How does that make it more special? I'm not really sure. All I know is they taste really, really fresh. It's kind of like wedge potatoes that you get from like really good steak restaurants. A little bit of salt and a little bit of pepper. Simple, but it's really good. Let's start with the avocado burger. What does that speak to you? It speaks fresh as fuck to me. You know how when you get avocado burgers from these franchise restaurants, they always give you like a pinch of avocados, but here they give you a really generous amount of avocados. Very rare, especially in Asian countries. Wow. The lettuce that's in there, absolutely fresh. So the patty that's in this is also really great. And I like how they kept it simple. Uh, the sauce is just ketchup and mustard. Some ground pickles in there too. This tastes like a really well-made homemade burger. Oh Jesus, the avocados, they're just spilling out of there. Guys, take a bite. Hands down, the best burger I've had so far in Japan. They have grilled onions in there too. And it's not like completely cooked, so you can kind of feel the fiber still. As the name suggests, everything here is so fresh. Even the bun, it has a really home-baked feel to it. Really amazing stuff. Mm. I kind of don't want to go back to Korea anymore. The surface of the buns, it has that uh, croissant-like feel to it. Slightly chewy, and every time you chew, you get that really pleasant flavor of uh, freshly baked bread. This is pretty insanely good. Let's try the chicken burger now. That chicken burger has got to be amazing. Just look at how the juice is oozing out of there. The word juicy is not enough to describe this. Mm. Mind you, this burger is not even $4. It's kind of crazy, but this might be the best chicken burger that I've had. So yeah, this place, Freshness Burger, if you want some good burgers for a very reasonable price, it's kind of a must visit. This is some honest, good food. Okay, I think I'm ready to rank them from the worst to the best. Coming in fourth or the last is Burger King. Although to be fair, it was very good for a franchise burger joint, I thought their burger was kinda expensive for what it is. Like, why would anybody pay over $10 for just this one burger? In that sense, I think McDonald's was slightly better because it had more original items to offer and they were definitely more affordable. When it comes to the quality of the food, they're not that much better though. And from there, there's a huge gap to the second best franchise, which is Mo's Burger. They're generally cheaper, fresher, cleaner, they have more unique items. After trying Mo's Burger, I honestly don't see myself going to the American franchises in Japan. And that brings us to my favorite franchise, Freshness Burger. 
Honestly, their name kind of sucks, but they had possibly my favorite chicken burger of all time. Every item that they had was simply amazing, and I really can't imagine getting a better burger within this price range. Anyway, that's my burger joint review from Japan. Maybe if I go to another country, I'll do another one of these. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a fantastic day.